get ready for your favorite show, Cryptid Cutter! Okay. It's Cryptid Corner. And today we have a really interesting thing to discuss in the corner. Today, we're talking about everyone's favorite cryptid. Oh my god, what are we doing? Oh no, this isn't what I wanted. Is it this? Okay. Aliens. We're talking about aliens today on Cryptid Corner. There has been some riveting news in the recent tabloids about aliens making contact and aliens working amongst us in higher up positions in the government. This all coming from a Canadian news station that I found on the internet. So we're going to watch it, and we're going to make our own speculations. I haven't watched it. I have not watched it yet, so let's see what he has to say, what this person on the news has to say. There's been a lot more activity in the last uh, few decades since uh, uh, we invented the atomic and about oh my God, come on. That, uh, that we might use it again. And because the whole cosmos is a unity, and it affects not just us, but other people in the cosmos, they're very much afraid that we might be stupid enough to uh, start using atomic weapons again, and this would be very bad for us and uh, for them as well. The first question you have to ask is how many species are there? And uh, I used to think there were, you know, between 2 and 12. And uh, Apollo astronaut um, uh, Edgar Mitchell, who came to Toronto a, a few years ago and had dinner with us, um, agreed there was somewhere between 2 and 12. But the latest Two reports 12, that I've been that? getting from various sources are that there are about 80 different species. Nordic and types. Some of them 80 different uh, species. Like us, and they could walk from little down green the street, men to humanoid they Nordic know, types. Ran, you know, walk past one. Um, and they're what we call the Nordic blondes and also the tall whites. Um, the tall whites. Who are actually working with the United States Air Force mm. in Nevada. They had. A couple of their <laughs> This guy really does need a glass of water. He in, is crispy to Las Vegas in the throat to area. And as a matter of fact, they have given us a warning. How? And this has come from more than one source. What, how have they um, made it clear? By, what have they done? That they have talked to uh, people. He's saying, this man's saying the aliens are trying, they're upset. He mentioned Nordic aliens... He mentioned tall whites, never heard of them. <laughs> oh no, this isn't what I wanted. Oh wait, tall whites, totally heard of them. All these aliens coming from the, from the Pleiades, a star system somewhere up in the sky somewhere. And we're gonna listen to one here right now today. Apparently this is one here now today. Hi everybody, welcome. And now I shall bring in the Pleiadians to see what they would like to share with you. Oh, About she's not an alien. 2020 to 2021. Oh, we are delighted to be with you all again once more. It is a pleasure. And many things have changed upon your planet Earth. And you already feel this. Many of you feel the changes, the upheavals, the massive earthquakes, the volcanoes, the fires, the floods, the droughts, the changes in your weather patterns, of course. This is upsetting and concerning to me. I didn't even, I didn't even expect to come upon this news right now. Here's our proof for all the non-believers before we close this up. Five, and take a look at this viral video from La Junta in southeastern Colorado. All right, Vivian Gomez wrote on Facebook that her security camera captured this on Sunday morning. There are people on Facebook who say it think? looks like Dobby from Harry Potter or a ghost or an alien or a kid in flip-flops and underwear. We think it looks <laughs> like Lisa doing her Sunday morning dance. I don't oh, know. Wait, Lisa, why are they? Are God. Why are they joking on this alien? This is supposed to be serious. This was supposed to be a serious video. God, oh, that's disappointing. Well. 
I guess that's it for this episode of Cryptid Corner, baby.